The government has a scheme as of last year which involves paying Irish fishermen to destroy and decommission their boats and effectively exit the industry. And the rationale given for this is that because Ireland has less fishing quota after Brexit, that the only way to make it profitable for the fishermen who are there is that there's actually less of them so that there's less competition between them. Do you think that that makes sense? And what, what do you think of this decommissioning policy? Well, you see... Anybody that's robbed normally gets a little bit of consideration, right? And Ireland was robbed, but it was by a political decision. So of the fish we were catching, which was only around two in every ten that was landed in our own waters, we get no fish anywhere else. 25% of that was taken away from our fishermen and given to the UK. And on top of that, the fish that were swimming in our waters that the other countries were caught was also used to pay their bill for ours. So we ended up with not enough fish. So it's not us saying this, this was done by the scientific community called STECF that did an evaluation of it and 40% of the fish that was given to the UK in real terms came from Ireland. So of course we didn't have enough fish to start with, our fleet has been decimated since 2006, our first decommissioning scheme, we went from 400 boats down to around 300 boats. The second decommissioning scheme brought us down to 180. This third decommissioning scheme is bringing us down to just over 140 boats. So our government has decided to wipe out our fishing communities, fishing industry, right around the coastline. And if people don't believe me, go to Baltimore where I started fishing, go to Skull, go to Burton Port. I met Packy Bonner in an airport uh, coming back from one of the meetings in Brussels. And he said to my colleague, he said, what happened, John? What happened? I've come home to Burton Port. Fishing is gone. It's, it's, there's no more of it happening anymore from a vibrant fishing port. That's what happened. So our government did that. And then you ask about paying them off? This is ridiculous. So we put forward evidence. We were part of the task force that showed that boats were making and being bought for around 15,000 euros per GT. That was the way that they've evaluated should be paid off. Up to 25,000. Do you know how much they've settled on? 12,000. But they brought in a scheme that competed you against the next best boat. So they started off giving you 3,600 per GT, and you got more money the more fish you got, provided you caught as much as the guy alongside you. So they brought in a scheme that discriminated against boats. One lad such as James O'Gorman from the island where uh, the Inish Fear, the Banshee movie was made, he's the last fishing boat there. He's the last of two wooden boats that were built. And he was offered less money than the boat would have been if he just sold it off in parts and sold it off in, in tonnage. So when people hear all oh, the fishermen are getting money for this, nobody else got it, like was in before, they're not. They're being robbed of their asset. They're being forced out of the industry because if they don't, they will be arrested outside for catching maybe an extra box of cod. One box of cod and they're arrested, right? And then they're 50,000 fine or maybe 25,000 for the gear. This is what's happening in Ireland now. What would you say to somebody who's watching this and is maybe thinking, well, sure, I'm not from a fishing town and I'm not a fisherman myself, so what, why should I care? You know, maybe that's unfortunate that it's happening to somebody else, but what, why is this of national importance, do you think? We'll call it sugar. Next time you go into the shop and you look at a bag of sugar, when I was working in a small shop, a bag of sugar is around 70 cent. Go in and see how much one is now. And the reason for that is we had sugar producing industries in Ireland and our government decided to give it away to other countries and put an embargo on us ever growing sugar again. Look at the price of sugar now. So this is a dramatic effect on everything. It'll be the same for fish. We won't have a fishing fleet to catch fish to feed our own people. So we'll be buying it at massive prices from other foreign boats and putting it in, or else you won't be allowed to eat fish, a natural, nutritious food, and it'll be taken from your diet. This is the future of Ireland if we keep going. Look, we're at a, a conference here today about the farming community. We had a green minister that decided that you couldn't take peat out of the ground, and that has to be imported now from Germany to, to grow horticultural plants. Like, where's the sense in what's going on at the moment? It's absolute lunacy. So the policies of this government is twisted is the easiest way to decide it and they're destroying your rural Ireland right across the board. I'm living in a small town, I'm out in the country now and I can see all the young people, my kids, friends just immigrating, leaving, getting out of the place.